I didn't think that I would one day lose my eye and have scars in my face after being beaten up by a community mob. I made a lot of bad choices which started at a very young age. I liked the respect that the guys in the neighborhood got through their lives of drugs and hijacking. I wanted the same respect. At the time of doing crime it felt good but nothing lasts forever. Crime eventually landed me in prison. My first arrest was when I was only 14 years old. My time in prison made me feel more powerful like I had more respect. I was in and out of prison for the next 9 years. During my last arrest to prison my dad fell ill. I could not be there for his funeral because I was in prison for yet another crime. I was stabbed in prison. One of my cancer friends got a 65 year sentence for murder. It could have been me. I didn't want this life. I wanted to get out but how? When the life I knew was one of a crime and drugs. I was out of prison but had nowhere to go but what I knew best. I could only use the drug money for alcohol and what seems to be a good life. When my community turned on me in the mob justice attack for yet another crime, I landed up in hospital. I was discharged from hospital, badly disfigured. My friends disappeared and they were not there for me at this loneliest time of my life. But my girlfriend stood by me and accepted me as I was. Today she is my wife and we serve God together. Sibu came to visit me in hospital. We met once before in prison. He introduced me to the discovering Bible study process. It was hard because I never read the Bible before. I continued selling my drugs, but my conscience would not allow me to do both. I chose the Bible. I end up choose to follow Christ. I had a lot to pay for my life of crime. Now looking back, it seems like such a waste of time. I could have done better. There are no shortcuts in life. Shortcuts can get you where you do want to be.